I remember one time I made a video of me just carrying groceries here. And women went crazy. <laughs> it was like, boy, if you don't get over here and carry my groceries. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> How did you first discover your gift as a comedian? How I first discovered my gift as a comedian was through a friend of mine. Um, I never knew that I was funny. People laughed at me, but I didn't, I just thought they were laughing at just how I thought. And uh, it was other people like, man, you should be a comedian, you should be a comedian. They was like, just go on stage. And I said, no. And then he was like, I bet you $50, you will. You won't go on. And then that's when I was like, 50? He was like, yeah, I was like, I'll do it, $50, I'll do it. And we went down there and I couldn't get on stage. And then I went back the next week, they wouldn't let me on either. And then the third week I went, they let me on. Got a stand ovation and I knew my life changed at that moment. I'm a deep thinker, you know, that's how I like to do. Think real deep, smoke something, lay back, let my mind take off. I be thinking about stuff people don't know about, people ain't even thinking about. Like for example, why isn't there any B batteries? <laughs> you describe yourself as an oddball. What makes you different? Um, just the way I perceive things. And I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like, I wouldn't say like, I would say not just odd, I would just say kind of different. Just the way I think about things is different, you know, and not just the normal way. You know, I just look at things differently or whatever. And I think that's, that's, that's also not only in my stand-up, but just in my character. Like, me being like the only child, I always analyze things myself. And still to this day, I do that. Somebody could trip and fall in front of me and my friends, they'll laugh. I'll be more like, why they, why they fall? Like, they didn't, they didn't see that chair right there? Like, I saw it. I ain't tripped. Did you see it? You ain't tripped neither, right? So what, what was he thinking about? Let's let's go ask him what what like <laughs> I, I will go into straight detail about what was you thinking about that you didn't see this big ass chair here that you fell off? Like I want I really want to know that. And they'll be like, and then what? I'll be like, then that's it. I just I just want to know. Why there ain't no B batteries? But they tripled up on the A's. <laughs> what the B stand for black battery? <laughs> ain't no black batteries around it. What were you like as a kid? Man, as a kid, I was very imaginative. I always, it was just me and my imagination and me figuring out things and doing things and trying to just, you know, make sense of the world. You know, no father figure, it's just me and my mother. And my mother trying to make make money for us to eat and me being by myself or whatever, just was me and my imagination, just thinking and thinking all the time. I just always was like that, you know, and, uh, yeah, just, I'm very, I'm a very, very quiet dude though. Like, I'm, I've let down a lot of people when they met me. Cause they think I'm a comic and they think I'm gonna be like, yo, and all that. But people came around me like, yay. And I'd be like, what's up? <laughs> Aside from being quiet, what's something most people don't know about you? I'm like a, I'm a guy. That's what people call me. People that know me, they be calling me the guy. Because I'm always trying to like hook something up, do something. I just fix stuff a lot. And people don't, people don't know that, you know. Sometimes I I have somebody over and I'll see something broke and it would be killing me not to fix it. 
<laughs> because they there. I don't want to just jump up, start grabbing power tools or whatever while they there. But in my mind, I just constantly, I'll be talking to them like, yeah, yeah, and be like looking at it like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to, I got to screw that in. I got to screw that. Ah, boy, you crazy. Oh, I need to fix that leg on that chair. Uh, that's a good question. What's the most embarrassing habit you have? Oh, reading out loud. <laughs> I hate, I hate reading out loud. Like, to like a bunch of people, put it like that, like table reads, like blackish when we do a table read, when it's coming to me, when I'm like, when it's time for my, I know when my scenes is coming up and I'm sitting there heart thumping and I'm like sitting there with my finger on the words and I'm just waiting, I know my scene and right when it hit to me, I just be like, yeah, and, and 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 if you do want to come in the door next time, not like <laughs> I mean, like, the worst. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I just I be so nervous. And then, but the kids, they be like, yeah, blah, 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 the Marseille and all them, blah, 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 Miles and Marcus and Yara. And all the kids on grownish, they just, yeah, and then, 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 then they can read and they can look up, they'll read and then read the rest and be looking at you and acting it out. And I, I have to stay right here with it. Like, <laughs> they be acting and looking at me, I don't even, I don't even look at them, I'll be like, word for word. Like, but <laughs> that's, that's probably the most embarrassing thing. Nah, if there was black batteries, I wouldn't use them. <laughs> they probably will work sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Trying to be all pro-black in this. <laughs> uh, 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 mm. <laughs> we don't talk that way in D.C., D.I. <laughs> you can go back to Chicago with all your shitland ways. We don't do that here. This is all right. <laughs> What's one talent you wish you had? I wish I could play the guitar. I thought about taking guitar lessons, but then I was like, and then what? I ain't gonna be old, old as hell in the band right now. Like, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. And I'm not gonna be serenading nobody. I was like, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna take guitar lessons, but I wish I did. I wish I, I wish I knew that. Okay, last question. So we gotta make it good. Mm -hmm. Top five comedians ever. <laughs> Top five comedians ever in my life <laughs> that have affected me. Okay. Top five comedians, Richard Pryor, Lenny Bruce, Eddie Murphy, Red Fox, George Garland, Bernie Mac. Six, five, was it? <laughs> Let me try it again. Richard Pryor, George Garland, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, Mom's Mate.